This is Fede with Freedom Lifestyle Blog. What I want to talk about today is how to be charismatic in three simple steps. If you want to be the person that everyone loves to be around, keep watching. There's a long-lived myth that says that charisma is something that you're either born with it or not. And the truth is that charisma is a skill that you can learn and practice. One thing to have in mind is that Charisma is not about letting other people know how cool you are. It's letting other people know how cool they are. According to the book The Charisma Myth by Olivia Fox, there are three main qualities that represent charisma. They are power, warmth, and presence. So, how does power look like? Being comfortable in your own skin, owning your space, saying what you think. Those attributes resemble confidence and confidence gives you power the problem is when we go overboard and we do all the things I already mentioned without consider considering other people's feelings space or ideas then we go from confident to arrogant and cold what is presence you can think about it like giving your undivided attention to the task at hand we spend most of our day thinking about the past or the future and not paying any attention to the things that are happening around us. This could sound like a bold statement, but take a look at your own behaviors. Now, how many times an hour do you check your phone while doing other activities? A good example to understand the term presence is to imagine that you have two friends. One of them uh, pays attention when you're talking, he looks at you, hears at you, and give detailed and expressive answers to what you already said. And the other one checks his phone every five minutes, and when he responds to you, he gives short answers like, okay, cool, or mm-hmm. So, which one would you prefer? Easy, right? Finally, warmth. You have to make people feel special, recognized. You know, you have to show them that you like them for who they are, even with their imperfections. However, don't do it too much, otherwise you'll seem needy, and you'll become a people pleaser, and nobody likes people pleasers. Now, you have to find the balance and understand when to use it and how much. How can you learn this? Only through experience. So now you may be wondering, what is the perfect mix for charisma? And I will say to you that depends on your personality and also the circumstances. To illustrate this point, I'm going to read a quote from Olivia Fox's book. that it says, contrary to commonly held charisma myths, you don't have to be naturally outgoing, you don't have to be physically attractive, and you won't have to change your personality. No matter where you're starting from, you can significantly increase your persona, personal charisma and reap the rewards both in business and daily life. So, for example, you may be helping a friend going through a breakup. First, you will show presence and warmth to show them that you understand and care for them. And when you achieve that, then you will lead them with power and let them know that this was the best scenario possible and now they have plenty of new alternatives. On the other side, we could talk about business. Then you may proceed with power and as the relationship develops, show more presence and warmth as the other person is winning you over. So I want to give you practical exercises for these three qualities. First, for presence. If you're doing something, give your undivided attention to the task at hand. Don't see any other distractions. I know this could be hard, but for example, if you're talking with a friend, focus on the way you breathe, like how the air goes from your nose to your stomach. If you're talking to someone, take attention to all the different words they're saying, how they're saying, see their expression in their faces, etc. Now, for warmth, we take everything for granted nowadays and we forget to be grateful. So, 
just be grateful for the little things. If someone gives you a smile, think to yourself or even tell the other person, thank you for that smile. It made me feel X and Y. Finally, for power, there's this motto that is called motion creates emotion, as Tony Robbins says. And it's scientifically proven that if you feel happy, you'll smile. And the opposite also happens. If you smile, then you'll be happy. So, if you want to feel powerful, stand tall, lift your chin, smile, puff your chest, use a white stand, and let the magic begin. To achieve a high level in any of these three qualities, it's going to take a lot of time and effort. So, take your time and exercise daily. Now, if you like this video, subscribe to see more interesting videos. Take action until next time.